In the intricate dance of human interaction, manipulation often lurks in the shadows, wielded by those seeking to assert control or achieve their desires. In this video, we will know how our beloved natural leaders become leaders. You know this video will be an interesting one. Chapter 1. The Master Weaver The term alpha male gets thrown around a lot, often associated with dominance and power. But within this concept lies a darker side, manipulation. While manipulation isn't exclusive to alphas, we'll address that later. They can be particularly adept at it. One of their key tactics is obfuscation through selective sharing. Obfuscation means to confuse or make unclear. Alpha manipulators excel at this by carefully choosing what information they reveal and what they withhold. This creates a one-sided picture, allowing them to influence how others perceive a situation or person. Let's see this in action. Imagine John, an alpha at work, wants a promotion but lacks the experience. He might downplay a colleague's qualifications while subtly highlighting his own minor successes to his boss. John withholds the colleague's strengths, obfuscating the bigger picture. A classic study by social psychologists Richard Nisbet and Lee Ross demonstrates this tactic. Participants were shown ambiguous information about a woman. One group was told she was stingy, while the other was told frugal. Both words describe the same behavior, but the framing influences perception. The stingy group judged her more harshly, highlighting the power of selective information. Here's how to stay safe. Be wary of one-sided narratives. Actively seek diverse perspectives. When someone seems overly positive about themselves or negative about others, dig deeper. Ask clarifying questions and consider alternative explanations. Don't be afraid to say, I need more information to understand this fully. Remember, this is just one manipulative technique in the Alpha's arsenal. Stay tuned for the next chapter, where we'll delve into another tactic and equip you with further strategies to protect yourself. Chapter 2. The Illusion We've discussed how alpha manipulators can be masters of obfuscation. Now, let's explore another tactic in their arsenal, the illusion of choice. This manipulative technique involves creating a situation where you feel like you have options, but in reality, the desirable outcome is heavily influenced by the manipulator. Imagine you're at a car dealership with a persuasive alpha salesman. Mark, he shows you a few cars, subtly highlighting the great deal on a specific model that just happens to be slightly above your budget. He might even badmouth the other options, making them seem less desirable. Mark creates the illusion of choice, several cars, but steers you towards his preferred outcome, the more expensive car with a great deal. This leaves you feeling empowered. You chose the car, while ultimately serving his agenda. The psychology behind it. Studies by psychologist Sheena Iyengar demonstrate the power of limited options. In her research, participants presented with fewer jam choices were more likely to buy one compared to those presented with a wider variety. The overwhelming number of options led to decision paralysis. Staying safe. Be aware of situations where choices seem limited especially when pressured to make a quick decision. Here are some tips. Take a step back. Don't feel pressured to decide immediately. Ask for time to consider your options. Expand your options. Are there truly only a few choices? Or can you explore alternatives on your own? Question the deal. Is the great deal actually a good deal? Or is it just a way to influence your decision? Remember, a genuine choice offers a variety of viable options that cater to your needs. Don't be afraid to walk away if the choices presented feel like a manipulative trap. In the next chapter, 
we'll delve into another manipulative tactic and equip you with further strategies to protect yourself from alpha manipulators and anyone else who might try to control your decisions. Just a quick reminder, if you're enjoying this video, please consider like and subscribe, and thanks a lot if you did already. Moving on. Chapter 3. The Sniper's Eye. Now, let's delve into a tactic that requires a bit more finesse. Exploiting weaknesses with precision. This technique involves identifying a person's vulnerabilities and then using that knowledge strategically when the situation demands it. Often you can see this technique in friends, or even family. For this chapter, we are not putting any examples, but we are sure you can relate to this. The psychology behind it. Research by social psychologist Robert Cialdini explores the concept of reciprocity. His work shows that people feel obligated to return favors or concession. Manipulators exploit this by uncovering weaknesses that create a sense of owing something. For example, by confiding in someone about a financial worry, they might later cash in on that debt by seeking a concession during a negotiation. Staying safe. Be mindful of what you reveal, especially in casual conversations. Here are some tips. Maintain boundaries. Don't feel obligated to share personal vulnerabilities especially with someone you don't trust completely. Practice compartmentalization. Keep professional and personal conversations separate. Develop a poker face. Don't reveal your emotions or anxieties easily. Remember, true power comes from self-confidence and clear communication. Don't give away information that could be later used against you. Important note. While this chapter focuses on how manipulators exploit weaknesses, it's important to distinguish it from healthy communication. Identifying a loved one's anxieties, for example, can be used to offer support, not gain an advantage. The key lies in intention. Chapter 4. The Trojan Horse We've covered a range of manipulative tactics, from creating illusions to exploiting weaknesses. Now. Let's explore a subtler strategy. The Trojan Horse. This manipulative technique involves offering seemingly beneficial gifts or favors with hidden strings attached. Imagine Emily, an alpha in a social circle. Yes, in today's era, alpha female is also possible. She might offer to throw a lavish party for a friend's birthday, showering them with attention and generosity. However, the hidden cost might be an expectation of unwavering loyalty or the subtle manipulation of social dynamics within the friend group. Emily's gift, the party, comes with an unspoken obligation, creating an imbalance in the relationship. Research by social psychologist Adam Grant explores the concept of reciprocity. His work shows that people feel obligated to return favors Manipulators exploit this by offering seemingly generous gifts, creating a sense of indebtedness that they can later cash in on. How to be safe. Be wary of overly generous offers, especially from those you don't know well. Here are some tips. Consider the source. Is the offer genuine or is there an ulterior motive? Question the timing. Does the offer coincide with a time when they might need something from you? Evaluate the hidden costs. What unspoken expectations might come with the gift? Remember, true generosity comes with no strings attached. Don't feel pressured to accept an offer that makes you uncomfortable or creates an uneven dynamic. Chapter 5. The False Flag We've unpacked various manipulative tactics, from exploiting vulnerabilities to offering Trojan horse gifts. Now, let's explore a more devious strategy, the false flag. This technique involves creating or exaggerating conflict between others to manipulate the situation for personal gain. Imagine Alex, an alpha in the workplace, vying for a promotion. 
He might subtly plant seeds of doubt about a colleague's performance with their manager, highlighting minor issues or twisting situation. He might even create a false impression of animosity between them. By orchestrating a sense of conflict, Alex attempts to weaken his competitor and position himself as the more stable and reliable choice. Research by social psychologist Blaine Downey explores the concept of social comparison theory. This theory suggests people evaluate themselves in relation to others. Manipulators exploit this by creating a scenario where others appear worse, making themselves seem more desirable in comparison. How to be stay safe. Be cautious of gossip or negativity, especially if it seems to benefit a specific person. Here are some tips. Seek clarification. Before taking sides, try to understand the situation from all perspectives. Trace the source. Who is fueling the conflict? Is there a personal agenda at play? Don't be manipulated into perpetuating a conflict that benefits someone else's agenda. This chapter concludes our exploration of manipulation. Remember, the goal is not to become paranoid or distrustful, but to be empowered with knowledge and self-awareness. By understanding these tactics, you can navigate your interactions with confidence and build healthy, authentic relationships. Now watch my next video, appearing right of screen. Peace.